In this video, we'll bring in elevations to the layers of our ModFlow model. We'll start with the digital elevation map that represents the land surface. Here's the digital elevation map. We'll drag it into the GIS layers. While we're waiting for the data to import and appear, we're going to make a two-dimensional grid that can capture the information. We'll go to the grid, under 3D grid, and right-click. We'll convert to two-dimensional grid. There's a default value of five. Leave that, it's okay. Now that we have the two-dimensional grid, we'll take the DEM information and interpolate it to the grid. Go to your DEM, right-click, interpolate to 2D grid. we see the data has appeared on the 2D grid. From the 2D grid, we'll put it into ModFlow. Go to ModFlow Global Top. This is the top layer of the model, layer one. Right click, Properties. And here we see the land surface elevation of the model, the top of layer one, is zero. We want it to be our DEM. We'll go to 2D data set to layer. Make sure we have the DEM. Click OK. We'll double check. And here are our values for land surface elevation as meters above sea level. This is OK. We have two layers in this model, so we need a bottom of layer one and a bottom of layer two. Okay, there we go. So our layer one top is the DEM. The layer one bottom is the same as the layer two top. And then we have layer two bottom. We have this value, we need this value and this value. If we go back to our files, we have a layer to top. Again, it's the same as the bottom of layer one. We we'll drag it into our GIS layers. And the layer to bottom, which we'll also drag into the data tree. Just like with the DEM, we'll interpolate these to the 2D grid. So let's click on layer two top and interpolate to the 2D grid. We see the data set appear. Layer two bottom, right click and interpolate to the 2D grid. We see here both our data sets. Let's go to the bottom. These are the bottom elevations of all the layers. Right click, Properties. Layer one. Remember, the bottom of layer one is the same as the top of layer two. Let's take the 2D data set to layer, and we want layer two top. Okay. And we see these values are less than the top of layer one. Go to the upper left-hand corner where it says layer. Let's choose layer two. We see these values are zero. We'll take the 2D data set to the layer. 
And in this case, we want layer to bottom. Click OK. These values are negative. That's OK. That's because they're below zero, which is sea level. Click OK. And we have successfully imported layer elevation into our ModFlow model.